Seth Ryan with Grind Knife Sharpening at IMTS in Chicago with Cutter Masters. Uh, we're going to demonstrate uh, doing a knife repair uh, for this kitchen knife that has been tip rounded and it's kind of all tore up. So we're going to reprofile it. We're going to um, regrind the tip. I've kind of sketched out here where we're going to uh, remove some material. Uh, we're going to put a nice point back on. We're going to fix the profile so that the knife doesn't have to operate way up here. Uh, and so we're going to use the uh, tradesman belt, uh, 2x48, to do some of the major uh, work. We would do it on the Apex, uh, but we didn't bring belts. Uh, so it's Cubitron 120 we're going to do most of the material removal with, and then we'll move over and go through the whole sharpening process. I'm just going to put a mask on real fast and we'll get started. So we've got our profile fixed up. And so we're gonna move over and do some sharpening. Load our sponge tray. And uh, that's going to allow our wheel to spin and continue uh, continuous water coat, keep our edge nice and cool. 
Uh, also, we'll maintain our dust for the remainder of the uh, for the remainder of the project. So we're gonna lock the knife into our our jig, and we're set right now uh, for about a 16 degree uh, bevel angle, 15 or 16 degree bevel angle. So we're gonna turn this guy on. We're gonna go tip to heel. Moderate pressure, because we have a little bit of material to remove. And we just check for our burr all the way along the edge. There's a burr there, 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 and at the tip. So we're good on that side. You can see a nice fresh new grind line. So there we have our, our angle bevel set. We're gonna move on to a thousand grit wheel. We're gonna cut most of that burr off and refine our edge a little bit. A little one or two pounds of pressure here is good. Uh, that pressure really helps eliminate those 100 grit scratches. Refine your edge. One more light pressure pass. At this point, there's a very light feather burr, but that burr is, uh, it's so small you can't, I can't feel it. So from there, we're gonna move on to our stropping machine. Excuse me. This is just loaded with a uh, blue Japanese polishing compound. And we're gonna do a light pressure pass on the strop. Then we have this stropping collar. We're gonna slide this down it's gonna tilt our knife up a little bit so we can get a nice, slight focus at just on the apex. And this is gonna be about as light a pressure as you can manage. And that should be it. Take the knife out of the clamp. And we've taken something that was in unusable shape and turned it into a, a new functioning knife. Just like rock it a little bit so that I can get a glint off the bubble there. Best test? You wanna do best test? Yeah. Let's do it.
Wow. 45. So how sharp is that relative to a razor blade? A double-edged shaving razor is 50. So that's, that's pretty okay. <clears throat> We can do S cuts. Smooth cut. Amazing. Awesome. Thanks, guys.